So hi guys and welcome to my next video. Um, at this video I'm going to show you guys how simple it is and uh, how fast it is to uh, flash uh, NVIDIA graphics card. Yeah? We are talking here just about NVIDIA, yeah? not ATI. Um, ATI you also can find uh, a lot of tools and how to make it at YouTube, but uh, NVIDIA uh, you don't uh, can find so, so much how to do. So that's why I make this video because it's really amazing, really simple at these days to do that. And uh, years ago, people have say it's really danger and blah blah blah. So with this video, I want to prove you guys how simple it is to flash your graphics uh, card BIOS so that you can overclock it and save it to the BIOS of your graphics card. The good point is that this way you don't need any tools like Viva Tuner or other overclocking tools, yeah? Because you just uh, clock it like you want and like you wish, and then we save it to the graphics card. That's really great. And it works mostly for 6000, 7000, 8000, 9000 GT and GTS and GT, uh, GTX uh, graphics uh, card series. So, and uh, the, other, the other good thing is also when uh, a new NVIDIA driver comes out, so mostly the uh, uh, Riva tuner or overclocking tools uh, don't can overclock it anymore because they don't know this new driver. So these are really good points and uh, I will show you how simple it is to make this and it's really great. And um, uh, I also go show you that you can overclock and flash it and you also can uh, flash it back to the original BIOS, okay? So this uh, uh, and more I want to show you now. Uh, Google and download you these four tools here. Yeah, these four tools here are needed to make it so simple like me and that you can work with me step by step. So, uh, again, sorry for my English, but I try my best. You need, the first thing what you need is HP USB stick storage format 2 version 2.2.2. .2. Yeah, just Google it and I think you will find it. The second thing is USB DOS point zip. Yeah, the third thing is NV flash. This is the NVIDIA flasher. You, uh, this will help you, uh, help us uh, to flash the graphics. And uh, the fourth thing is Nibitor 5.1 or newer. Uh, Nivitio is the uh, best tool in my eyes and uh, a lot of others work also with GPU etc. But uh, with Nivitio the most things work and that's why we just work with Nivitio. And yes, look and uh, try to get this all here. When I'm too fast for you guys then you just hold the video on, make pause and then you can write all here. Okay, so but the first thing what you got to do now is make the bootable uh, USB stick. Uh, because uh, 10 years ago or 5 we have uh, you make this with um, uh, with floppy but floppy is getting so old that uh, nobody more has at home or just somebody and the most people have uh, a USB stick at home so that's why we're gonna do an USB stick now bootable yeah we will create a bootable USB stick now this is the first step and uh, that's why you need this uh, first tools here okay just get all here download all and uh, just when you got this all, just begin to work with me step by step. So I'm going to minimize here. Uh, this is not need here, so let's go. The first tool is the HP here. Just open it. Yeah, this is the first tool that I told you guys. This one. So, and now I show you how simple it is to uh, make your USB stick bootable. Just go and go look where your USB stick is. This is mine here. Click right mouse and format it. Just a quick format, don't change anything, just format it. And let's go. So it's ready, finish, just close it all, this also. And now you must uh, tell him where is your USB stick. This is the, this one here. I click him OK. And then he saw it's FAT32. And this is right here, just let it so, don't change it, it must be FAT32. Okay, remember this, it must be FAT32. Okay, then here quick format we don't need anymore because uh, I already have done it manual. So then we need this here and you must click here, create a DOS startup list. Okay, this is uh, the files what you need to make the USB stick bootable. And this other second download that I told you is the USB DOS point zip that you must get. Okay, when you don't uh, can find it so, so great at the internet, I will show you now what files are inside. Yeah. These are the files you need, these three here. Okay. Pause the video and write you when if you like it. But I think you will find it. So I'm gonna close it again. Then you just open the download, yeah, and just take the folder out to desktop. Okay, and finish. Close it all. 
And now here we go. Then you must tell him where are the DOS files. Click him here. Desktop already are. Oh, no, no. Okay. And then uh, you click here USD DOS. These are these files here. Okay. Click it on. Say OK. And let's go. OK. Run it. So now he do us a bootable USD stick. Yes. After that all, we don't will see files inside because uh, it hides them. And uh, like here, we can see nothing now, but they are inside. This is just the files what you need to make the USB stick bootable. Now it's, it says uh, it has done and blah, 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 so much uh, this space is free or not and blah, blah, blah. Okay, just close all again. Now let's go to the USB stick now. And this is now our bootable USB stick. It's, fin it's finished to boot. Now you can start with USB stick, yes? It's a bootable USB stick now. This is the great thing. Maybe one day you will need it again. So the next step, uh, we need to put the, the NV flash files inside the bootable stick. Okay? This is here the next step. Copy the NV flash files into the bootable USB stick. Okay? So now just go, open your USB stick, and now just copy and paste these two files inside here. Okay? Ready? So close it again. So the next thing is here, run Nubitor and save you the original BIOS file from your graphics card, okay? So now we run Nubitor, this is the gray tool here. Okay, let's close the background. So this is Nubitor now, yeah? And uh, you just click here at Tools and then read BIOS. Select Device and then you see that we have a GTX 285 and we press OK tools and again read into bio uh, into Nivitor. So that means read the BIOS into Nivitor tool, into this tool here. And now he has done and now you see all here is now at this and this and the core clock like, like that, shader clock like that and memory clock like that. So it just changed nothing here. You do nothing here now. What we're gonna do now is first just to save the original BIOS. This is the original BIOS, untouch it, you don't touch anything here, don't uh, rename it, don't uh, change here anything. Just save, yeah, and save BIOS. Okay, save BIOS into the desktop and write something like, uh, yeah, like me, original. Original, and now save. Okay, it's saved. It. Yes, this is now our original file here. Okay, you see? This is the original file, and we don't touch it now. So, and before you go on, um, you should have tested your settings. Yeah, just test before you make this all here. Test with Riva Tuner. Make your settings, your clock overclocking settings. Test the games a lot. Test it very long. Play very long, and uh, just test if they really run good. And if you know your settings, then you can go on here, and then you can set them. I already know my settings. These are here, 730. Shader, I can go 1500, I can do more, but I'm a crisis freak and I play very, very long crisis at online games and at online when I make more, I can get some problems sometimes. So, and here I can go at 1260. So these are my settings and here you can uh, make, if you like, display memory size, but don't change another more. Don't change here, nothing more. Yeah. Don't make color. And uh, also here, don't change the, the vendor because uh, it can say uh, later that it will not work the update, okay? Just make nothing here, Let's uh, like, like this now. Then you go at File and save the BIOS. This is the overclocked BIOS now, and that's why we, we write OC for overclock and then just like me, the model GTX, okay? And this is enough, don't write too much letters because uh, DOS don't can read so much letters. Just save it. All right, and now you can close all. Yeah. And what we're going to do now is take the overclock BIOS file and we put it in the bootable USB stick. This is now the update, yeah, or the flash we can say for the graphics card. I'm going to stop the video now and uh, I must shut it down to tell you all the next steps. Okay.